Hi, my name is Arthur and I'm going to present a new vision-based global localization method using ceiling space density. The idea behind this work is to use already available blueprints to self-localize a robot without prior exploration. This is achieved by using ceiling vision coupled with a robust observation model in a Monte Carlo localization strategy. We start with a simplified blueprint describing the ceiling boundaries and other features like doorways. We then convert it to an occupancy grid, which allow us to easily compute the free space density. Here are some examples. The idea is that we pre-compute this value for each cell and store it, so it can later be used by particles when simulating observation in the Monte Carlo localization strategy. The idea is that the same result can be obtained from images taken by an upward-facing camera. Here the original image was taken by a wide-angle lens. After perspective correction, we can apply ceiling segmentation to find the ceiling boundaries. We then convert it to an occupancy grid and apply the same operation to find the ceiling space density. Note that even if the ceiling was partially occluded, it won't affect the result since the occlusion is outside of the kernel radius. To demonstrate the feasibility and effectiveness of our method, we use an Aneato XV12 coupled with an upward-facing camera. We recorded six trajectories across two different apartments and compared the following methods. The original Monte Carlo localization from De La Herte et al. that uses a mosaic of the ceiling. The free space density from a Fe et al. that uses a forward-facing laser to reconstruct the environment. The proposed method, ceiling space density, as well as pure motion to evaluate the contribution of the observation step. Here we can see an example of execution for trajectory A. The red dots represent the particles, while the yellow dot represents the mean and the oriented ellipse represents the uncertainty. On the bottom right we can see the camera feed. Note how we have furniture and other objects on the scene. The robot already converged to the correct location. When comparing CSD against other methods, it converged faster and actually was the only one that converged in all six trajectories, and that was only using bare blueprints. This demonstrates the effectiveness of our method. Thank you for watching.